I've got the stripper pole to work out with, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not very conventional. I'm not a clean little cookie cutter girl. I got asked at Home Depot the other day. I was buying paint and the guy was like, oh, what do your tattoos mean? And I was like, nothing. And he was like, what? My tat every tattoo I have has a meaning. I was like, I wanted to like high five him or something. Like, good for you. Like, mine don't and I'm happy about that, but they're still awesome and they still look kick ass, so whatever. The Lick Monster is probably one of the only tattoos that really has a meaning to it at all. Come on, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Come on, big pitbull. Big pitbull. I got Bella when she was just a little puppy baby. She was only like this big and she loves to lick people's faces. And I just, for some reason, one day, I was like, yo, she's such a lick monster. Come on, kiss. Ew. Ew, she won't even look at me. <laughs> well. And I just thought it was hilarious. And then one day I was sitting at work and I was like, I'm gonna get that tattooed on me. I mean, the only way I would regret it, I guess, is if I go to jail because it'll take on a whole different meaning at that point. This one's my favorite. When I first got into modeling, uh, I just loved the fact that there was billboards and stuff and you could be pretty much a part of someone's art. I started off with my regular name, Carrie Dingle, but I didn't like it. I've never liked my name. So, I mean, that was one of the reasons that I changed it to Cadell. That's when I got signed by Race. They want you to be something specific and that's one of the reasons that I'm not with them anymore is because of the fact that I'm, I don't meet their industry standards. I mean, I had to change everything and now I went back to just, you know, doing what I want. People put too much into tattoos. It's, it's an art form. All the other tattoos are just from artists that I love and, you know, my Salvador Dali piece and my other pieces from Alex Party and Greg Crayola, they're just artists that I've seen their pictures and it almost like inspires me to get it. That's art that is very unique. Not many people like Salvador Dali's work because a lot of it's provocative and a lot of things that people don't understand. And I just think that surrealism really takes a part of people's minds out that you normally wouldn't see. Basically, I looked in these magazines and I became inspired by these a couple models that I've seen. One was Mosh. I went on Masha's profile and found out some photographers that she's worked with before and decided that I wanted to work with the same because that's the kind of stuff I want to be doing. I can't wait to get my portfolio up to speed with my personality and how I am today and I'm so glad that I don't have to change anything. Worst case scenario, I'll have awesome pictures of me, so I don't care. <laughs>